Hello everyone, it's Stacey Nicole here with SNS Scraps, and this is my first Project Live kit for 2018. Um, I pulled a lot of stuff, I made it really big, so hopefully I can get quite a few layouts with it without being bored. <laughs> That's usually half of my problem is I get bored with my kits. Um, I have a lot of goals for 2018 that I just kind of want to go over real quick. Um, my first goal is to journal more. Uh, I did not journal very well um, this year. And I really need to keep track of my photos and the dates and all that good stuff. So that's my first goal. My second goal is I want to document my New Year's goals or resolutions. Um, one of my New Year's goals is um, to read 150 books. And I would like to document that. And I would also like to document my Bible study. I'm hoping to do some Bible study. I have this ginormous book. Let me get it. Sorry. Sorry, I should have got this out. I have this ginormous book that I've honestly, to be perfectly honest, I've had it probably for about three or four years. And I start it and I never finish it. And it's 365 days of daily readings. Will I get 365 days of daily readings out of it? Probably not, but I need to start somewhere. So I'm hoping to somehow document my Bible study into my project life as well as my other resolutions and that's pretty much it i just kind of want to make project life about me about my book about my um my goals my aspirations inspirations whatever you want to put um i usually do project life for my family um or clark's family i should say um my family i don't see very much but um I usually do Project Life for us, and this year I kind of want to jazz it up and make it more about me. I mean, I'm going to include everybody else in it, of course, photos with family and friends. You're going to have that, but I somehow want to make it more about me. All right, let's get to the good stuff. I base this kit off of two different things. The first being this, because I can't wait to look at it. I'm so excited. It looks like it's got a lot of greens, some browns, and some pinks. And I thought it would go really well with um, the Project Life Cottage Collection. And here I go again, not having this open. Oh well, it's not like I want to save the box. Here we go. If I can get it open. Oh goodness gracious. More packaging. I'll tell you, some of this stuff is childproof. Where I know there's a way to get in here. I just can't get my fingers to cooperate. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, dokie. Let me get that off of there. Let me throw this away. Get my little tab out here. Goodness gracious. Cannot get in here. Yeah, it looks like a lot of greens. And I I kind of pulled teals too for my kit so I mean there's a little bit not really a teal color but definitely a lot of greens and some pinks and some blacks I'm not gonna go through every one but I mean these are just so stinking cute I'll go through them later the ones I won't use I'll put aside and then you have the photo corners oh goodness gracious and they're going everywhere. We're just going to dump them in. Goodness gracious. All kinds of photo corners, if you can see that, hopefully. And more goodies, more ephemera. Choose happy, favorite moment. Don't let the cute fool you. <laughs> I love that. That's perfect for my little nephew. Don't let the cute fool you. Um, perfectly imperfect. This is really cute. All you need is love, good vibes. Very cute. Very, lots, 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 lots in there. I mean, look at all that. That's just awesome. Okay. And the next thing I pulled um, for this kit, sorry, I'm making a mess over here, is this. So I pulled pinks, I pulled the greens, and I pulled this kind of bluish kind of tones. And... Yeah, let's go from that. I think that's what I pulled. 
So at the end of every year, my paper pads are very loved, very, very loved. And I usually cut them down to four by six or I set them aside to donate or to give to Kathy, which I have a pile for Kathy. But I thought I would use these. Um, what I mean by very loved is like this. They're absolutely falling apart. I have them all taped up. And I usually cut them down to three by four. Or I, um, like I said, donate them. Um, for this though, I went ahead and pulled it for this kit. And then after this kit, I'll go ahead and cut them down. Um, for um, this one, I pulled um, the Home Collection by Paper Studio. I thought it had the browns and it had the blues. It also had some grays in there, I think. Maybe I'm lying to you. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, there's some grays. There's the grays. I thought it had grays. And I thought that would definitely work because it kind of matches this blue collar. So, I thought maybe, maybe that'll work. Um, I didn't have much of this left. Uh, Jen Hatfield DIY. Uh, I thought, I think it had like blacks pretty much left. Blacks. I don't know if I'll use the navy blue, but... I thought I'll go ahead and give that a try. And then I pulled um, this Paper Studio Meant to Be Fab, which is one of my favorite collections. And it's falling apart, goodness gracious. And um, it's got golds, pinks, and it's got that teal color, which technically isn't in the Heidi Swap, and it's really not into here. But I pulled teal for a reason, and I'll get to that in a minute. And then, uh, last but not least, of the paper pads, I pulled this office suite, which I don't have very much left at all of. So if I could get that used up, that'd be great. So there's that. So that's the paper. I didn't pull any scraps because I had all of that paper. Now, the reason I pulled teal is because I really, really, really wanted to use my new cottage, what is that called? Cottage home? Home cottage? Cottage living. Why do I always want to call it cottage home? Cottage Living Edition Project Life cards I just got um, last month. So, um, in this collection, you have the teals, the pinks, the grayish kind of charcoal black color, as well as some browns. Very, very cute. I'm so excited to use it. And then I pulled some journal cards and filler cards and pattern cards as well, just to give you a look-see. So that's kind of why I pulled the teal. And I thought, well, since I had that out, I might as well pull this in too. I've had this forever. I got this for like a dollar at Myers, I think. I don't know. But I thought it's got the pinks and it's kind of got the cream tone base that the Cottage Living, uh, yeah, Cottage Living Edition has, as well as um, the pinks and the teals. So thought that would work. Let me get all this out. Goodness gracious. This kit is huge. Lots of papers more than anything. Lots of papers to work with. So I'm hoping I don't get so stinking bored. I would hope not, but who knows, you know? I do get bored easily. I'm pathetic that way. Okay, so um, I pulled those stickers like I told you. I also pulled these. These are from the Momenta collection. I think I got these at Michael's. Um, but they got the, the teal color. It's also got the pink color as well as golds. And then I also pulled these stickers, the Webster's Pages stickers, because it's got the teals, it's got the pinks, it's also got the greens, and it's got the blues. So I pretty much had every color I was looking for. So there's that. And you know me, I cannot have a kit without enamel dots so let me put this away first goodness gracious it does not want to fit there's just too much stuff so I pulled some green enamel dots I didn't have very much left on this and I thought these are kind of tealish green which I might use but I thought maybe I'd definitely use those so I went ahead and pulled these two for a backup I pulled these because of the teal color now this made me laugh and I don't know if you've noticed this at Hobby Lobby so I bought these probably about six months ago and they're getting down. So they were 50% off. So I bought the same ones, turquoise enamel dots, turquoise enamel dots. Do you guys notice a color difference here? Are you seeing this? Because these are totally, totally different colors. These are more blues. These are more teal-ish turquoise. 
So, kind of disappointing because I really love that color. And I loved all the colors. So, I don't know if this is a permanent change that they're doing or if it's just random. I don't know. We'll see. And then um, I pulled these. These are from Michaels. The Recollections. I thought I definitely could use the blue and the teal for sure. And maybe that pink. It's kind of an odd pink. And then um, my friend Kathy gave me these, and I thought, well, I could definitely use the gold and the uh, white color, the white glittery kind of color, and the silver. So I thought those would be perfect. So there's that. Um, from my stash, I pulled a good chunk. I made sure I pulled quite a bit of ephemera. I pulled black. I actually remembered looking at my multicolored stuff. Look, look what I found. Books to mark my books. Hello, how cute. A book ephemera. How adorable. Anyway, I know, I'm crazy. And um, greens and pinks. What other color did I pull here? Gold, it looks like. Gold, definitely gold. And blues and some teals. So all kinds of ephemera. So hoping I don't get bored. And then last but not least, I pulled some washi tape. And you know what I realized when I pulled my washi tape? I don't have one green, green color of washi tape. Like, not a green, green. I have one color of washi tape, and that is this, that has the green. But it's not just all green, it's multicolored. I need to do some shopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Clark's like, mm-mm, nuh-uh, no you do not. So these are the washi tapes that I pulled. Um, for the most part, they are all from Paper Studio with the exception of this pink one. It's from Bella Boulevard. And this uh, polka dotted teal one is Little B. So there's the washi. I'm excited to get some of that used up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited for 2018. I just recently caught up in Project Life. So I can sort of get organized for 2018 Project Life. Hoping it goes smoothly. We shall see. All right, good luck with your Project Life adventures. Thanks, guys, for watching.